Hello and welcome to the Easy Investing Income YouTube channel. Today I want to discuss how to deal with a option contract that's deep in the money. Today I'm going to show you how I'm dealing with it and what I've decided to do. It's a little bit unorthodox, but I thought I'd share it with others. before. Actually, before we get started, I do want to remind everyone that I am not a professional. I'm a hobbyist. This is something I like to do to earn a little bit of extra income. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So here we actually have my account and you'll notice I have ARK Innovation ETF and I've got um, a put 115 that's deep in the money. So today I'm going to actually discuss what I'm dealing with it. If I actually close this <clears throat> these two contracts I would take a substantial loss between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars for the two contracts I really don't want to do that actually um, ARC is something that I don't mind uh, investing more of or more in so what I'm gonna do is actually what's called rolling the contracts I'm gonna roll them to a lower strike price and farther out into the future so that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is pull up the trading screen. Next, I'm going to actually come out here. I, I like how Schwab actually organizes the trading screen. I'm going to say roll out spread. So combinations, they give you an option to actually roll out the spread. So I'm going to do that. Now, it starts out as a call. I'm going to change it to a put. And what I'm going to do is first sell to close. This would be the $95 contract. And then the buy to close would be the 115 contract. So you can see here I've got nine dollars and thirty thirty five cents so nine dollars is what i would pay and 35 is what i will gain for selling the contract so that's for one contract so that's about you know so nine dollars or nine minus 0.35 you're talking about um eight dollars and 65 cents per contract which again you multiply that by two and then by a hundred so you're talking close to seventeen hundred dollars would be my my loss and I really don't want to take a loss the other option is I I could allow it to be assigned but I don't really want to buy um, ARKK at 115 right now it's dropped quite a bit it's 106.55 um, so you can see here 106.55 so I'd rather be able to pick it up at a lower price maybe around 100 or 95 if I can possibly get it so that being said we've got the top two transactions where they're both closing the existing contracts and then down below I've got the new contracts that I want to open you can see it already set up some numbers here for you so I'd like it to mimic what's on top so I'm gonna say sell to open and I'm also gonna say buy to open so sell to open, I 106, it'd be great if I could get it for, or change the strike price to 106. And then this is the farther out. Since this is a credit spread, um, the arm that's farther out is, is typically lower. So let's put that at 100. And so here you can actually see it's 680. So this would cost me six. $680 for one contract and almost $1,300 for two. So it's not a very lucrative contract. Uh, let's see if I bring that up a little bit. Let's try 114. So now we're down to 210. So around $400 for the two contracts. Um, again, not, not real good. So I can't really move it a week. You can see here the date is 521 so I need to go farther out so let's go out to 611 and one thing I want to mention is you can see the 1050 is what I'm I get if I can get it close to this 890 
then that's a pretty good idea of, of what strike price will bring that amount of premium. So let's lower it a little bit. Let's take it down to 113. So 990 versus 890. So I could potentially pick, uh, roll this contract in, in at to a strike price of 113, which is better than 115, but nowhere near the 90 or 95 or 100 that I'd really like to get it at. So maybe I can go one more. Let's try 112. No, so I can't go any lower. So I can't really roll it to 611, which is which is a month away. Right now it's May 11th. So let's try, let's see if I can go out to 625. So 112, I could potentially do that. Let's try 110. So 930 versus 890. Um, so dollar 45, which is again 145. So we're, cl we're talking close to 300. Now I can move or make it a wider spread. So I could lower this to 90. So I'm down to 10. So for $20, I could roll this out, avoid taking a big loss. But I, I typically like to try to get $100 at least in every trade that I make. So I'm, I'm trying to shoot for $100 on this. I could keep rolling it out. Um, so if I roll it way out, just out of curiosity to 75, I could gain 45, um, which is which is a wider spread it's still at 110 it's still in the money i'd like to get it out of the money i wonder if i can lower this a little bit more let's try 109 no i'm i can't even do that so and that's 870 versus nine so let's see if i roll it out a little bit more so you can see 1120 I've got two two dollars and fifteen cents per contract, so that'd be four hundred dollars at one hundred and five and seventy five for nine seventeen. Um, let's try a hundred and see what that. Yeah, so I can't I can't do a hundred. I can do a hundred and five and have a wider spread, which for a lot of people that's that can be an issue. It will require more margin, but again, I'm trying to get it where I can, if, if I end up owning ARC, I want to own it for really less than a hundred. So I don't really even like that. I mean, actually that's $400. So that's not bad to, for the trade. Um, and let's see, 75, 85, 95, 105. So that's only, that's only a 30 point, yeah, 30 spread. So, hmm, this is tempting. So this is 105 to 75. Um, I think I already tried 100. And I, yeah, it drops quite a bit. So I don't have much choice there. I wonder if I moved it out a little more. Let's try again. Let's try for 1217. And you can see the need to make sure I change this. Actually, I don't think I changed this earlier. So the numbers weren't accurate um i want to do this was it 1217 yeah so actually those numbers that two dollars was not correct because i had the wrong buy to open i still had it set to 521 so here we go for december 17th 105 i'm earning a dollar which is for one contract so for two contracts it would be 200 dollars not not bad again I, I want it to be below 100 so 12 I could maybe push this out a little bit more let's see what 65 looks like so that would be $50 and it's at $100 which is outside the money but I'm only gaining $50 so hmm this is not I could push it out a little bit more but then the spread is really getting wide right now it's 45 I'd like to try to keep the spread no more than 40 so I'm gonna I'm gonna push it out even farther let's try 121 22 make sure we do change both of those so we're at 95 and for 65 and 100 so that's is that 35 yeah that's 35 spread so that's not bad. Again, I'd, uh, though I'd prefer to have it below 100. 
it's actually 9896 for 121.22 and I would earn $90 that's that's not not too bad that would be close to $100 it would be more like 90 wonder if I can make this even lower let's do 97 96 5 cents so that would only be $10 for two contracts and the reason I'm doing two contracts is I already own two so I want to be able to close both of the current ones and roll this out. Part of why I'm doing this is I've gotten myself in a jam with this one. And in the past, this is what I've done whenever I've gotten way deep in the money on some of these contracts. And it's worked out to my favor. Uh, do I think that ARK will, or ARKK will go down to 97, 96? It, it very well could if we have a major correction. But a lot of people will not assign these. And at 97, 96, I'm... I will consider owning it, um, but let's play a little bit more. Let's look at July. So we're talking over a year, more than a year. Wow. So I picked up quite a bit more of premium. And you can see on these very volatile stocks, you can really pick up some major premium. So let's try 95. I'm still at $40. So 95 and 65, which is a 30 30 spread or 3,000. So I would use $3,000 worth of margin minus whatever I collect. Um, this will roll this out for a year. So it will tie up some of that margin. But I'm okay with that. I've, Like I said, I've done that before with other trades. Um, so I'm typically okay. Let's see if I move this to 60, what it does. Okay, now we're talking. So a dollar forty again times two times a hundred. You're talking two hundred and eighty dollars, and for ninety five. Um, in a way, I should look at delta, but when I'm rolling, I typically don't worry about delta. I worry about earning premium, and I also worry about picking up the the stock or the uh, ETF for the value I want to pick it up at. So ninety five when you know, it was within a, about a month ago or two months ago, it was 140, 150. So um, ARKK <clears throat> 95, I think I'd be okay with that. And we're talking a dollar 40, so I could make 280 with this trade. And it gets it kind of off my radar so I can work on other things and not worry about it. It does take up some margin, but it's, it's time as the decay occurs, I might be able to close this transaction um, for a profit well before 7-15-2022. So let me play one more, see if I can get it a little lower. Let's see what happens with 90. No, I'm taking a loss. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to go out a little bit farther. I may come back. So if I go way out, 120, and it's 105 we want to lower that let's go down to 9096 still picking up 80 um but that's really taking it for two and a half years that's more of what's called a leap this is also a leap because it's anything any contract longer than a year is considered a leap so let's go back to 715 i don't want to have this sitting around too long. Actually, let's go back to 121. So I'm, I don't typically take this much time, but I'm, um, I got myself in a, a pickle. I've actually got four other ARKK contracts that expire next week. So I've also have to deal with those. So I want to get these, the, these are the highest. The other ones are set at 110 and 111. Um, these are, kind of a big nuisance for me right now so I'm really want to deal with them so let's let's do what we were doing before let's see if we can get 98 96 a dollar and is that yeah that's a little less than that's about 40 and again I'm, I'm the spread is to keep the margin where I can still do other trades but I'm trying to be able to pick this up at a, at a good value so it that's still two hundred dollars so i think this is what i'm going to do 98 96 which is a value let's see i'll go down one more 97 96 50 
so I could get a, a hundred but for a dollar more you know because I could potentially roll this a little over a year from now or July of next year so I really want to collect the premium so I'm gonna stick with this one here and then, so what I need to do next is I need to up these all the two and then I need to re-verify 514, which is Friday, 95, 115. Buy to close, sell to close, that all looks good. And then I want to do a market order. The main reason I want to do a market order is if I tried to do it as a limit order or a different type of order, I, I could be here all day trying trying to get it to go through with a market order. Schwab will run it for you and they'll, a lot of times they actually improve on the trade and I get I get better pricing. We'll see if that happens this time. But this will knock this trade way into the future and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, like I said, I've done that before with a couple of other trades and it's it's worked out pretty well for me. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's review the order. And let's see, it's saying 194. So it's saying it, don't know if it's gonna be able to improve on it. So let's go ahead and place the order. And you probably heard my phone, so I have notifications. That's something I, I recommend. I set notifications for trades, for any kind of withdrawals or anything else. That way also, if for some reason someone accesses your account, you would always, you'll get a notification if someone's trying to do a withdrawal or doing some kind of a trade or anything that might be worrisome. So here it, it actually went through. Let's look at the order status. Yep, and here's the rollout. So it looks like I got the values. I actually got a little better, 210. twelve oh sixty four. So it's not showing <clears throat> if it had any improvements, but it, so it looks like I pretty much got the $200 for the trade and it moved it way out into the future. So this, this is kind of my way of dealing with uh, contracts that may become problems. Like I said before, I'm willing to buy um, ARKK at 98.96. Of course, it, if near that point, if it's trading a lot lower, I can potentially roll it again to a lower value. But I wanted to get this off my radar again. I I traded. I was trying to trade ARKK weekly and found out that's not a good strategy so I'm backing out of it and um, gonna look at other strategies that are a little bit less risky. ARC is just moving too much up and down and like I said it went up to as high as 150 and now it's it got down to 98 today so it's moved around a little bit in a crazy manner over the last two months so I'm gonna stick to things that like I had originally planned that are dividend based and don't move as much as is ARC or you know, really high moving or very volatile stocks. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. If I encourage you to subscribe, I'm going to keep putting more and more videos out. This is the way I do things. You may have a better way to do it. If you do, please leave a comment. Um, I also have a blog that relates to these videos and my YouTube channel. The blog, the link will be below. And I actually talk a lot more about the trades and what I'm doing and what my philosophy is. My goal is, is at this time is to earn about 2000 more per month just trading um, options. And then I average between 3 and 4% in dividends. You know, with, with those amounts and those values, I'm able to pretty, pretty much have an, you know, to be independent. I, I'm able to... To support myself with just those things and I'm hoping to increase the amount of contracts I'm learning more and more and I hope you learn too I also have a patreon page where uh, you can actually get my trades you can get more details you can get early access to the videos and to the blogs and then I will also have live events right currently there's no one that's in there but as soon as I get my first person then I'm going to schedule a weekly event where we can talk about these kinds of trades and I can actually during that time if you um, 
want me to help you with a trade, I can potentially help you if, if you need it. So thank you. I'm glad you tuned in and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.